One of the fundamental concepts in the mechanics section is an understanding of vectors. And we know that vectors are physical quantities that have both magnitude and direction. We know that a physical quantity is anything that we can measure. The most common vectors that we will be dealing with are displacement, which is measured in meters, velocity measured in meters per second, acceleration measured in meters per second per second, forces that are measured in newtons, and momentum, which is measured in kilogram meters per second. Now, vectors have a number, number of unique properties. The first one is that vectors can be added together in any order, which if we look at the example here of somebody who has moved or traveled five kilometers east and then seven kilometers north and then four kilometers east, there are three different ways in which we can show this. All of them start with this person in the same position. The first one shows in the order that it's done a movement of five kilometers east followed by a movement of seven kilometers north which is then followed by a movement of four kilometers east to end up at the final point. Now to illustrate this point we can show that somebody who had followed these exact same vectors but in a different direction or in a different order would still end in the same place whereas if they had first traveled seven kilometers north then five kilometers east and then four kilometers east again we would find that they would end in exactly the same place and finally the third way in which this could have been done would have been first by going five kilometers east and then four kilometers east and then seven kilometers north all of this illustrates that the order in which vectors are added does not matter as long as they maintain their magnitude and direction. The second common property of vectors or the second common use for vectors is that since they all start and end in the same place when they are added together it is possible to determine what is called a resultant vector meaning the one vector that could replace those other three vectors. In this case that would be the one vector that goes from the starting point directly to the end point. Now what we can see is that this vector is directed at some angle theta that we can now determine and we would start by naming each of these planes in which we are moving. So the most common naming conventions here are that this vector over here is acting in the y plane so we call it the y component. This vector over here is acting in the x plane so we call it the x component and then we can call this vector over here our resultant vector. As we can see we now have a right angle triangle and a right angle triangle allows us to use Pythagoras which says that the resultant vector squared is equal to the x component squared plus the y component squared. In this case that gets us an answer of the two combined x components are 9 squared plus the y component 7 squared and therefore our resultant is equal to the square root of 9 squared plus 7 squared which is 11.40 kilometers. So what we are saying is that if this person had traveled 11.4 zero kilometers from the starting point in this direction they would have ended in exactly the same place as the person who followed those three vectors. Now obviously because this is a vector the direction is also important and so what we can see is that we have a right angle triangle with an angle theta that allows us to use any one of our trigonometric functions. First one I will use is tan of theta we know that tan of theta is always equal to the opposite side of the triangle over the adjacent side of the triangle. In this case, that is the y component over the x component. And we can substitute our values. The y component we determined was 7. The x we found was 9. And we can then use our second function on the calculator to find that that angle theta 
is equal to 37.87 degrees. What this now tells us is that these three vectors can be combined to find a resultant vector, which would mean that it would have exactly the same magnitude and direction as those three vectors combined if this person were to travel 11.4 kilometers at an angle of 37.87 degrees.